Hi guys, I just thought I'd show you my new Cymbidium display that I just brought indoors. Some of these plants have been in for a little while and been in bloom. Others I just pulled out of the greenhouse. There's three in bloom right now. I just thought I'd take the time to um, talk a little bit about the care that's needed for these guys. Um, some of the culture that's involved. And anyways, um, four seasons of Cymbidium. So in the springtime, after the frost, these flowers will all be gone. Yeah, they're going to go outside. Once it's um, frost free, I'm going to give them as much sun as I can possibly take. Um, with regards to watering that time of year in the spring, I want the media to um, just about dry out, but not become bone dry before I water them again. And again, they're going to get um, as much sun as they possibly can. That's going to continue on into the summertime. In the summertime, they're going to get direct sun, uh, including noonday sun here. We're in um, beautiful British Columbia. The only time I'll take them out of the noonday sun is if it's a really, really hot summer day, say above 80, 85 degrees. Then I will, for that part of the day, just pick them up and stick them in the shade. Bring them back out um, when the sun is a little less intense. You just don't want to scorch the leaves. Let's see if I can find any leaf scorch that would be from the sun. I don't see any on there. Kind of like this here. That if that was water on the leaf, or here's another spot right there. So if that was wet and got in direct sunlight, that could possibly burn like that. I'm going to guess that this guy would probably touch the light bulb because sometimes these grow under lights and the light bulb would have rested against there in this case, but I don't know for sure. So in the summertime, they're in direct sun. As much sun as they can possibly handle without burning. The leaves um, go a little bit yellower than they are now. They're quite green because we haven't had sun for a few months. And then into the fall, the um, pseudobulbs that are maturing into summer will start to spike in usually September. I leave them out um, and just watch carefully in the fall just to make sure that there's no frost forecast. If there is frost forecast, I'll bring them in. While the spikes are developing, I try to keep them as cool as I possibly can in the fall. The spikes tend to develop at different speeds. And I never like to let them get above 70 degrees. They spike in the greenhouse usually, so there's a nighttime low of 55 in there. If you bring them in too soon and the nighttime temperature is not low enough, the buds will just almost reach maturity and then blast off. This one here, for example, it has eight spikes this year. There is one, two, three, four, and these ones are just about to open. So I'm going to guess they'll be pretty safe and they're not going to blast off because they're all about to open. And then we have some further down here. Let me show you these ones. This is the one that the spike is still quite immature. What may happen with these ones is as they get to um, just about to opening size like these, some of the buds might turn yellow and fall off because the temperature in here is going to be 70 degrees. Here's another spike that's taking its time to mature. Sorry about the lighting there. There it is. All of these spikes did start at about the same time within a month of each other, but some just sort of stayed in, in limbo until they were ready to start developing. As the flowers start to die, like if you look down here, this one's almost done. In a couple days, this will be able to be removed. And I'll just slowly start removing the flowers from the bottom all the way up until the whole spike is empty. And once the spike is empty, we're going to want to cut it down here, right there. And in this case, there's no more spikes on that plant. So with no spikes, I'm going to put it back outside, throw it in the greenhouse, put it in a bright spot in the greenhouse and wait for springtime before I throw it back outside. 
if you don't have a greenhouse at this point you could when the spike is gone you could just leave it in the house they're nice foliage they look really beautiful so that's another option for you but the key is once they can have the energy from the sun in the springtime they need to get as much of that as they possibly can so I hope this little short video helps and these are my cymbidiums that are in bloom at the moment thanks for watching if you like the video please like it and subscribe if you want to see more great videos like this